Hello everyone. Today we will demonstrate how to use our proprietary targeted control to reduce dishwasher noise. The same approach has been used in practice, but due to an NDA agreement, we cannot share these results. Therefore, we selected a household dishwasher as an example. The goals and objectives of this demo are to reduce dishwasher noise in the most cost-effective manner. Specifically, we apply our proprietary FVAC analysis to identify the most critical components of structural vibrations that are responsible for dishwasher noise and leave the rest of the vibrations intact. For example, the top right figure shows a specific operational deflection shape, ODS, of this dishwasher at a resonance frequency. The bottom right figure is the same ODS after its most critical FVAC is suppressed. Note that FVAC analysis can be used to optimize the design of a product to minimize sound radiation without compromising its desired performance. It can be done using numerical simulations, thus minimizing prototype manufacturing and testing. The hardware needed in this case includes a sound viewer and four accelerometers. If more accelerometers are used to measure surface vibrations, overall measurement time can be further reduced. The software is embedded in the sound viewer system. The input data include acoustic pressure signals, acceleration signals, source geometry, and source dimensions. With these input data, sound viewer can pinpoint where noise sources are and reconstruct all vibroacoustic quantities, which include sound pressure spectrum and distribution on the source surface and in 3D space, sound intensity spectrum and distribution on the source surface and in 3D space, sound power spectrum, normal surface velocity distribution and spectrum, operational deflection shapes at any resonance frequencies, structural damping ratio spectrum, forced fibroacoustic components, FVAC, and finally, the targeted noise control strategies. The output is the optimal noise reduction result. Here is a typical household dishwasher. Four accelerometers were used to measure surface acceleration signals on the dishwasher front surface over six by seven grids as indicated by the dots on the left. Acoustic pressure signals were measured by sound viewer at a distance of 90 centimeters. The dishwasher front surface area was 500 by 600 millimeters squared. Before applying our targeted control technology, we first validate the vibroacoustic quantities reconstructed by sound viewer. Shown here is the comparison of the spatially averaged acoustic pressure spectrum measured by an array of microphones and those reconstructed by the sound viewer software. Satisfactory agreement is obtained in this case. The reason we only show the spectrum up to 1000 Hz is that the sound pressure level drops continuously beyond 1000 Hz, which indicates that dishwasher noise is primarily generated by structure-borne sounds. The spectra indicate that there are four major resonance peaks at 169 Hz, 248 Hz, 342 Hz, and 557 Hz. These peaks are selected as targeted frequencies in this example. Next, we demonstrate the comparison of the measured normal surface velocity spectrum versus the reconstructed one. Once again, satisfactory agreement is obtained. Notice that the amplitudes of the normal surface velocities decay drastically over frequencies and resonances occur primarily at lower frequencies. These results further prove that dishwasher noise is structure-borne. In addition to the surface velocity spectrum, we also compare the forced vibration patterns, namely operational deflection shape, ODS, with the reconstructed ones. For brevity, we only display validations of the measured ODS versus reconstructed ones at targeted frequencies 169 Hz, 248 Hz, 342 Hz, and 557 Hz. It is emphasized that measured ODS in each resonance frequency was rough because the number of measurement points were not enough. On the other hand, the reconstructed ODS was very smooth and the amplitudes of ODS were accurately preserved. This is one of many unique capabilities of the sound viewer software that enables one to acquire satisfactory reconstructions based on relatively few measurement points. Shown here are the ODS results in 3D format. 
which provides a direct and easy to understand format to visualize the actual structural vibration of a dishwasher at each resonance frequency. This is another unique feature of the Sound Viewer software. Finally, we show the 3D time averaged acoustic intensity vector distributions on the front surface of a dishwasher at the corresponding resonance frequencies. These acoustic intensity vectors indicate the flows of the acoustic energies from the dishwasher front surface into the surrounding fluid medium. Once we have validated the reconstructed vibroacoustic quantities, we will discuss the strategy of how to apply targeted control to reduce dishwasher noise. The main idea of targeted noise control is to identify the most critical components of structural vibrations, known as FVAC, which are responsible for sound radiation at targeted frequencies or targeted frequency bands. The reason why FVAC analysis is important is that although sound is generated by vibrations, not all vibrations can produce sound. In fact, only a very small portion of structural vibrations can effectively emit sounds. The rest is purely vibration without sound radiation. So if our goal is to reduce noise, we should use FVAC analysis, not the modal analysis that has nothing to do with sound radiation. Included here are some references on the theory of FVAC analysis. Once the most critical components of structural vibrations are identified, we can use viscoelastic patches to suppress these critical structural vibrations and leave the rest intact. Viscoelastic patches are typically very thin. For example, Shiloh's acoustic patches are easy to apply and their thickness can be less than one millimeter. Therefore, they will not increase the overall weight of the structure. Note that the overall structural weight can be critical in the aerospace and automobile industries. Now we will show you the result of this targeted control of dishwasher noise. Here's the comparison of the originally measured spatially averaged sound pressure level spectrum versus that after applying targeted noise control. Results show that the sound pressure levels are reduced across the entire frequency span, not just at the targeted resonance frequencies. It is important to point out that one can combine this targeted noise control strategy with psychoacoustics and explore various design options to meet the noise reduction requirements through numerical simulations. In other words, one can perform design optimization by selecting where and how much to suppress the critical structural vibrations that are responsible for sound radiation in a virtual environment. In conclusion, we can state that targeted noise control works. This strategy is highly effective and covers a wide frequency range, not just the targeted frequencies or targeted frequency bands. We can suppress structural vibrations only where they are needed. The key to success is the use of FVAC analysis that can identify the critical components of structural vibrations that actually radiate sound and leave the rest intact. And the outcome of targeted noise control is quieter and superior products. It is emphasized that this targeted control strategy is applicable to all structure-borne sound, including an aircraft cabin noise, an automobile or a locomotive passenger compartment noise, household appliance noise, etc. Thank you for your attention. For more information, please contact Dr. Sean Wu at seanwu at signal-wise.com.